Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can integrate PayPal smart buttons into your Shopify store. So I have already created a detailed video uh, onto my YouTube channel. So if you have not watched that, so I will be adding the link into the description. So you will be getting the complete information that how I did. So in this video, I will also cover uh, some of the details of the previous video as well. But uh, for the uh, detail overview of that specific concept, you can watch that video first and then after you should continue with this video. So one more thing is that if you have not subscribed uh, the YouTube channel, just subscribe and also like this video. So I will be showing you that how you will be sh uh, showing the credit debit card uh, PayPal buttons to your customers so that they could able to pay you using their credit and debit cards, right? So nowadays uh, people are facing the issues uh, regarding this. So I thought that I have to create a video for that and you should customize the cart page of your Shopify store and add and you can call it inject the code of the PayPal into your Shopify store, right? So uh, you can see over here that uh, this is the cart page of my uh, Shopify store and here I have the two buttons. One is PayPal and another is debit or credit card, right? So in the same way, I will be showing you the complete implementation and for now I have removed the code and once I will be refreshing this, so these buttons would be removed from here, right? So now, first of all, you need to log into your Shopify store. So once you will be logged in, then you will be getting uh, this specific screen once you will be clicking on the themes, right? So you need to click on actions and here in the drop down, you need to click on edit code. And once you will, uh, once this uh, uh, screen would be opening, then you will be getting the option to customize the code. All right. So let's uh, see those files where we will be doing some changes. So actually uh, here we have the layout folder, we have templates and sections. So you need to go to the sections and in the section uh, you need to click on cart template dot liquid. So once you will be clicking over it, you will be getting this specific code. All right. So currently uh, we are we were uh, getting we are interested to show the buttons below this uh, amount. So how we will be detecting that one. So above the checkout button and below that amount. So here we will be scrolling it down and here we have the cart subtotal and here is the text shop if uh, taxes shop shipping checkout. All right. So this means this is the checkout button here uh, below this and uh, you can also see these are the buttons submit button. This is the checkout button, right? So about this uh, I need to uh, add that specific button, right? So now we need to uh, go to uh, the Google and search here now, or maybe you can also go to developer.paypal.com forward slash demo forward slash checkout, right? So once you will be pressing the enter then you will be redirected to the uh, code of the uh, code provided by the Shopify uh, by the PayPal right so first of all you need to copy this 15 number line and paste it on to the store so on the top of this you need to add this specific line and then after you need to copy this below script so I have just copied this script from here so you also need to copy this one and i'm gonna paste it at the last so here you need to paste it so for example this is 228 line maybe in your store there would be something else but make sure that below this specific json you need to above this json you need to add that code so uh, in the previous video i discussed that uh, i had the fixed amount over here so in this video i will be making it dynamic right so one last thing that you have to copy from here is which is like this specific div element that you need to copy from here this one right which is on the 12th number line so you need to copy from here and then paste it uh, the place where I already told you about the uh, checkout button so here I am going to paste it so using this actually uh, 
in this div the people will be showing the buttons automatically right so you need not uh, do anything so that those buttons would be dynamically uh, linked on to this specific div element uh, using that specific script which we have added uh, at the last right so now if I am going to save this and this is saved and if I am refreshing my uh, cart page then the buttons should be shown over here so you can see that here we have the buttons right so if I am clicking on the PayPal so you will be getting this specific screen so that means the PayPal is working fine and you know this is the sandbox account sandbox means testing for the testing purpose so what uh, we need to do over here is we need to uh, first of all add the add the client ID on the top so here we have the SB right so this means you need to add here the client ID so I will be adding the link into the description uh, that how you will be getting the client ID from your PayPal account so just follow that video and you will be getting that your client ID so that client ID you need to paste it over here and whatever would be the currency of your country or maybe whichever currency you wanted to use that you can mention here so I have used here uh, USD so you can any you can use any uh, currency whichever you wanted to for example euro EUR or Indian rupees INR so in that way right so now we are interested to uh, make the amount dynamic why because you know that I have added the $20 so that means every single product will be uh, having the cost of $20 but I am uh, interested to make it dynamic so I need to think uh, about that where is the dynamic cost over here so if you will see uh, over here so inside the cart there is actually the amount so let me let me do one thing which is uh, yeah I need to actually search here right so here we have cart dot total price so I need to copy this one from here and we need to paste it over here but you know the syntax should be inside of these two curly braces you need to paste this specific price right so in that way the amount would be shown over here so let's see this is valid or not so if the amount would be invalid then you know that PayPal uh, buttons would not be uh, working yeah so these are working right now that means the amount is valid so yeah great so let me uh, confirm uh, with you that this specific amount we are getting or not right so let me show you so let's do one thing which is like uh, I am gonna copy this specific syntax from here and you already know the place where we have added the buttons so here we have the buttons so I'm going to add here h1 tag h1 and inside of it let me show you hello world right for the surety that yes this is working I mean the text is showing over here so once I refresh you can see that hello world is over here so now I am interested to show the amount so after the hello world I am going to write the syntax which is this card dot total price so if I am saving this amount and then going to refresh this one yeah great so you can see that this is the amount so one two four five nine nine right so for example you can you will also say that this is 0.99 so in that way you can divide with 100 and uh, yeah, you and the amount would be uh, maintained right so that means we are getting the amount from the cart so uh, this way you will be uh, always getting the dynamic amount right so let me do one thing I am going to remove this product and let me continue browsing 
so i'm going to order a new product so in that way uh, we will get the confirmation that the products are coming dynamically all right so for example i am just interested to use this one so you can also see its cost and i'm gonna click on add to cart and this is in the cart now then you need to click on view cart and check out so once you click that you can see over here the amount is coming dynamic so let me do a small uh, calculation with this uh, with this value so you can also see that on the cart page this is looking like 2825 so this is not making any sense so how we can do the calculation is like uh, we have the cart dot total uh, price so here we have the pipe symbol and then i need to write here divided underscore by divided by 100.0 so once you will be writing this one then uh, actually this would be written something like this so you can see over here which is 28.25 so this would be the final amount so you will be asking me the question that what's the need of this specific calculation so actually i was doing some uh, practical example over here but uh, we don't have needed this type of thing uh, we only need to copy this specific part from here and i will be deleting this whole thing from here and i need to paste it onto my javascript code which is this one right so in this way the total price would be divided by 100 and the, in, in that way the amount would be uh, 20 um, whatever would be the amount that would be accurately uh, available in the value so that you this you can also verify when you will be uh, doing the payment using your credit card or maybe the paypal uh, account so at that time you will be getting the amount on the top right so the actual amount would be passed into the paypal so whenever you will be doing the payment using the paypal or maybe the credit card and debit card so at that moment everything would be shown to you uh, on the checkout page right so at that moment you can verify that what's the value that is going to be passed so you can do the testing so you can also see the all the details are over here once you will be clicking on pay now then the amount would be deducted and everything would be uh, going smoothly right so i was just giving you the practical example once you will be doing some uh, payments uh, for the testing purpose then you will be able to uh, verify it properly that uh, what's the amount and what needs to be uh, add, added and edited right the need to be uh, added so finally we end up with the solution that how we can make the values dynamic so if you are still facing any issue you can contact me anytime i will be helping you out with whatever issue you will be facing so if you have not subscribed the channel yet just subscribe the channel and also like this video so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one